Hey there, Alex Kidman here with just a quick guide on how to export all of your Gmail as needed. Now, there's been recent hoaxes that suggest that Gmail is shutting down. It's not, but it's a really good idea to have a backup of your email anyway, and it's super, super easy to do. Look, I'll show you. So on a browser where you're logged into your Google account, head to myaccount.google.com. I'll throw a link in the description below. Best to Google this, best to make sure you get the URL right because there are fishers and scammers out there. You don't want to fall victim to them. But that's the URL that you need. Open that in a new tab. And then what you want to do is click down here where it says manage your data and privacy. So click on that, allow it to load. And then it'll bring you into the privacy section. You want to scroll down to where it has this section down here download or delete your data you want the download bit not the delete bit that should hopefully be obvious so you click on that and it will take you to google takeout now google takeout allows you to download anything google related and by default it selects most of it we don't want that that's too big so what you want to do is click on deselect all at first which is just up here then what you want to do is scroll down, or you could do a search in the page, I suppose, for the section that just says mail. Within here, it's just going to call it mail, not Gmail. So you want to scroll down until you see the mail header. And there's quite a few Google services here, of course. We should hit mail before long. There it is. And what we want to do then is click on it. Now, you do have some options here for specifying which folders you want, if you don't want specific folders or that kind of thing. But once you're happy with that selection, scroll down to next and click on it. Then you have to choose where you want these files to go. Now you can store them external, Cloud Storage Drive and Dropbox and so on, or you can get a link via email, which is what I'm gonna do here. You then need to choose how often you want them, just the one export, or do you want it every two months? And also the compression file format you wanna use. Now these files can be very, very large. By default, they will come at you as two gigabyte chunks, but you can choose to scale it down to just one gig or up to 10 gig. It kind of depends on the files you're exporting. Then you just tell it to start the export. And then you go make a cup of coffee. Because the reality here is this takes hours, sometimes days before you actually get that link. You're not gonna get it straight away. You're not gonna see something automatically happening. But that's it. That's all you need to do.